Welcome guys to Grand Theft Auto 5 Mods. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the Infection mod, which kills absolutely everyone in your tracks by spreading a evil disease. Now here we are on a promenade. All these people are nice and healthy, but as soon as we press the O key, they all just fucking die. How strange is that? Now that is a one scary disease that this mod implements and actually works on pedestrians and also vehicles. So let's go over here, actually no, we're going to do the whole promenade, kill all these people without even bumping into them. There we go. Everyone dies in 250 feet of your player, or in your car basically. Anyone close to you in range just falls down and dies. Now this is really interesting on a highway. It blocks up the entire highway, um, causing everyone to die, and it's rather quite a bizarre scene seeing everyone sporadically die is a uh, rather confronting scene so let's go over here on this uh, somewhat of a actually now we're gonna go on a main highway let's see here we go this is a nice highway we can join on to hey presto there we go turn off the jetpack and take a look at this everyone is dying even what even people on motorbikes check out this with the big trucks swerve out the way it's actually kind of hard to drive on highways because they get clogged up and they try to take you out these drivers just die un sort of conscious they try and take you out with their car um, not intentionally but the crazy driving also alludes to all sorts of car crashes and havoc this basically is a havoc mod that uh, is a little bit of fun for your Grand Theft Auto 5 experience I'm not quite sure why would you want to install this other than for fun. Um, the mod developer actually wants to have some future plans for this. Say, for example, change the character. See, I have a character of a stripper. Um, wants to change the character to into a zombie and ragdolls pedestrians um, because these pedestrians in the car they actually crash all right, but in pedestrians in like so, say for example on the street they actually just fall down and die, maybe they should ragdoll what the mod developer says, and also uh, pedestrians kill each other, say for example they turn into zombies. So let's go over here, modify a uh, nice Holden Ute, I actually saw a mod for this uh, car that had the Holden badges on, but it didn't install it, it didn't seem that appropriate, but here we go, taking a nice stroll on the highway, it actually works both uh, directions you just die. I wish you could maybe alter the range of the death or the disease Maybe uh, you can have a little bit more interaction. Maybe if you touch the car uh, Maybe you die because it really creates a lot of havoc uh, It's really strange as well, but nonetheless this has been the sort of Infection mod that kills everyone in Grand Theft Auto 5 if you get too close to them So say for example, we just juice our way up boost here we go. And you see the trucks just hitting you in the most awkward positions, causing you to spin out and cause all sorts of crazy car havoc. So don't intend to have this mod installed if you want to get to places. Now, of course, if you may get tired of everyone dying on you, you just press the I key and everyone will continue to live. There we go. These people are living. Uh, that guy's still dead. Uh, but these trucks are still living. Yes, you guys are still living. So everything's back to normal because I pressed the I key. There is no blimp indicating the mod has been activated or deactivated, which is kind of a, uh, not a nuisance, but uh, can be altered and told the user that it has been uh, activated. It would help out uh, quite nicely. Although, let's go press O again and everyone will die again. How awesome is that? Not very, but, uh, you know, I'm just showing you the, the coolest Grand Theft Auto mods. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. And as always, have a nice fucking day.